Some parents worry about the negative impact video games could have on their children, but gaming may be associated with improved cognitive abilities, a new study found. Kids who play video games for three or more hours per day perform better on impulse control and memory tests than children who don't play games, according to research published Monday in JAMA Network Open. Researchers analyzed brain scans from more than 2,000 school-age participants in the ongoing Adolescent Brain Cognitive Development Study, the largest long-term study of brain development and child health in the country. The study has been the largest investigation into the association between video gaming, cognition and brain function, according to Bader Chirani, assistant professor of psychiatry at the University of Vermont and lead author on the study. This study adds to our growing understanding of the associa. Numerous studies have linked video gaming to behavior and mental health problems. This study suggests that there may also be cognitive benefits associated with this popular pastime, which are worthy of further investigation. The study adds to a growing body of research suggesting video games may have positive impacts on players. Scientists separated children 9 and 10 years old into two groups, kids who don't play video games at all and kids who game for three of more hours per day. The group of young gamers, they found, showed more brain activity in frontal regions associated with more cognitively demanding tasks and less activity in areas related to vision. Researchers theorize that changes in brain activity could be due to the cognitively demanding nature of video games and an increased proficiency in visual processing as a result of gaming. Previous research has linked video games with increases in depression, violence and aggressive behavior, but the latest study found no significant differences in mental and behavioral issues between young gamers and kids who don't game. Excessive use of screen time is obviously not good for mental. However, in contradiction with other smaller studies, we are not seeing a direct link between their gaming and mental health or cognition. More tech news, Texas Attorney General sues Google alleging it's captured biometric data without permission what's the most expensive Pokemon card? Colin Logan Paul's world record and 14 other rare cards the authors emphasize that they can't say whether there is a cause and effect relationship between the gamer's performance and video games. Children who did well on the cognitive test, they said, may be the ones who choose to play video games in the first place. They also stress that the findings do not mean children should spend an unlimited amount of screen time.